Hello all you beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. This is just a quick overview of my upper S22 pit pad replacement. So as we all know, the stock one here is a bit wide as far as the gap goes for your leg and you kind of feel like, you know, you could get the power pad close to you but you can't really get the brake pad close to you because of the way that the boomerang there is and the setup. So I know Marty and a few others have done a foam thing that'll go around or over those two bits to kind of bring them closer to you. There is, I think, one other guy right now that's making an upper pad replacement. It looks identical to stock. Not sure if it provides, you know, a better placement for your leg or better contact. But what I wanted to do is, I haven't seen a lot of complaints on this guy here. I had some pretty gnarly bruising for my ankle on that part, so I might work on one of these as well. But, you know, I mean, just from looking at it, most power pads sit within the battery pack itself and don't protrude this far out. So to have a pad that is that long, I don't think is completely necessary. So as far as mine goes, on this side, I did make it nearly identical to the original, but as you can see, all of this part isn't supported by anything. So the boomerang does kind of hinder you from getting the pads any further forward, which is kind of unfortunate. As you can see, this one is on my PIPS system there, so the front pad has the three tracks, the rear pad or the brake pad has the two tracks. And that allows you to not only customize your fit, but you could buy special widths for each pad. Whether you want 55 millimeter for seated and street riding, or you want a 75 millimeter for a good middle ground contact, or 85 millimeter for those people that like to do, you know, extreme accelerations or you know uphill climbing. And the same thing goes with the brake pad. You could get it in all three widths. You could choose whatever color you would like. You know, green, the red, translucent orange, translucent yellow. You could get it purple, but you can also get them in black so it'll match the stock setup. The backing here is optional. I sell it with the entire kit. So if you actually want to reduce that length a tiny little bit and the width of it so it's not so girthy it is about the stock width of the original pads i can make it a little bit thinner but not too much without jeopardizing the structural rigidity of the plate itself but that red pad in the back if you don't find it matching the stock stuff you could pull it off or not attach it and just attach the back base plate with the pip system and your pads so this is adjusted for my leg as you can see much closer together than the stock one right there is a perfect example of how far back that brake pad is and you can actually see the stock pad because of the foam it only protrudes out like God, three quarters of an inch maybe an inch of contact and although it's kind of rounded like your shin it doesn't really allow you to lean into the wheel and get that good you know acceleration or leverage over the wheel which is a bit unfortunate they are really well designed pads probably the best i've seen for any unicycle so you know good, good job king sung on on this but you know this length is just absolutely unnecessary that is a lot better fitment i prefer my brake pad nearly probably you know against my calf typically and then the power pad, I, I typically leave about an inch, two inches in front of my shin. That way I got a little bit of wiggle room to kind of bend my legs or, you know, lean forward a little bit without accelerating too much. And then, you know, I like to have the brake pad up against my calf so I can do any kind of immediate braking if I need to. And the way that the channels are designed, they are special dovetails. So these do go in on both sides 
and structural integrity wise they have been significantly increased over my original pips where you could pull on this you know, as hard as you want and it's not going to come out of there as you saw the flex with this one and this one they're very very soft i prefer my pads extremely soft and squishy as you guys know, I am not an extreme rider, so although that is that soft, when you're leaning into it, as you can see I'm wiggling the whole wheel there, it provides enough support. You know, if you're going to Superman or Michael Jackson lean this thing, these pads are way too soft. But I do offer comfort levels, so you can get extreme softies like these guys for comfort for you newbie riders or people like me that just, you know, like to commute with these things and ride around for fun, pleasure, or you could get them stiffer. You can get them stiffer. You know, there's there's a medium thickness to it and comfort, and then there's an extreme one that's much much stiffer for people like you know Chance that do a lot of off roading. So that also gives you options with these pads too. Is not only can you choose your color, but you could choose your widths as well as the cushion comfort which is nice so I may reduce this a tiny bit just because it doesn't need all that additional overhang for the brake portion and you know it's you could choose to use the boomerang the whole point of these was to keep the stock original look so if you like to order you know black plate with black pads you can and then the back plate here is essentially made just to help replicate the original look so they will be shipped not attached and whatever color pads you order red blue green is the color of this back plate so if you get bat black pads you will get a black plate that won't be red so just keep that in mind and then you know you could always put in the notes on order that if you wanted black pads you do want a red plate and I'll make you a red plate it's not a big deal I am currently working on a handle, but right now there's a few other people offering it. There's a free one or two on Thingiverse, so if you guys you know, want me to print those, I can, but I'd like to kind of get my own design. But that's just an overall view of the Pips pads. You can see there, even though it's being 55 millimeters, which is the narrowest ones I make, quite a bit more contact than the originals. So, hope you guys enjoy them. Hope you guys keep enjoying the videos. You know, it's a lot of work making these things. It's a lot of work designing this kind of stuff. So anything you guys do, whether it's subscribe, place an order, or share with a friend, it helps me out a lot. And I appreciate all of you for viewing, all of you subscribers. You know, feel free to drop a comment below if you have any questions. I do my best to answer all of them. Please check out the Etsy link, it's in the description below. These are now added to it, and I hope you have a beautiful day, you beautiful people.